Today in our 2018 Nissan Frontier, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the E-Trailer Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver. So here's what our hitch looks like once we have it installed on our Frontier. The cross tube is going to be pretty well hidden behind the bumper and all we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out right underneath. It's a Class 3 hitch which means it's going to give us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and have a really wide variety of accessories that we can mount up. Whether we're mounting up a ball mount, a cargo carrier, or a bike rack, or any other accessory, we're going to use the hitch pin hole here on the side, and it is going to accept a standard 5 8 pin and clip. Now these are not included in the kit, but you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com, along with some locking devices to make sure your accessories are secure. Our safety chain connection point is going to be a loop style, welded to the bottom of the receiver, and you can see that we're not going to have too much trouble getting most size hooks on and off. And it is going to be just slightly offset from the pinhole, so we shouldn't have to worry about any kind of interference. As far as the weight capacity goes for our hitch, it's going to have a 500 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward force of the receiver tube, along with a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount it can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Our hitch is also rated for use with weight distribution systems, which is going to be a separate component mounted on your trailer but that's gonna bump the tongue weight up to 800 pounds and the gross trailer weight rating up to 8,000 pounds. With all those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Nissan's owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give you a few measurements and that's gonna help you whenever you're looking at accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be right about three and a half inches. That measurement's gonna come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough clearance and that it's not gonna come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's right about 19 inches. That measurement is going to come in handy when you're looking at a ball mount to make sure you find the appropriate riser drop to match up to your trailer. So now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the back of our front here, and on each side, we'll find three holes in the bottom of the frame. These are going to be our mounting locations for our hitch. Now it's not a bad idea to spray some lubricant and clean out those weld nuts so we don't have to worry about any dirt, debris, or rust inside. If you're using a nylon brush, I'm going to clean out all the weld nuts on each side of the frame. Once those are cleaned out, I'm going to take an M12 bolt from our kit and make sure that I can easily thread it in by hand. I don't have to worry about it cross-threading. And when we do go to put our hitch up, we're going to take our M12 bolt and a conical tooth washer. We want to make sure those teeth are facing up towards the hitch. We'll go through our hitch and into the weld nut in the frame. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. We'll line up the holes in the hitch with the weld nuts in the frame. And then we're going to loosely secure one of our bolts on each side. That way the hitch will support itself and we can get the rest of the hardware in place. I'm going to come back with a 19 millimeter socket. I'm going to snug up all my hardware. I'm going to come back with a torque wrench. I'm going to torque all my hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. We're going to repeat that for any remaining hardware we have. That'll finish up your look at the E-Trailer Class 3 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2018 Nissan Frontier.